What is up YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com. In this video, I'm going to do a review of SEO writing.ai's new tool. It's a one click SEO optimized article generator. So in this video, I'll show you how to use it. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm here on the SEO writing.ai's website and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. Um, what I'm going to do first is go ahead and cover pricing. Uh, so right here, they actually have uh, two plans. They have a free plan and they have a pro plan. And you can actually play, uh, you can be billed monthly or yearly. So the monthly is $19.99 or the yearly, you can get it for as low as $12 uh, a month. All right, so they actually have a free plan. So if you wanna check it out, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. You'll get 5,000 free words. What's pretty cool about this tool is that you can actually use your own open AI API key. So you can uh, use your own credits and create um, these articles. Right here, they have the one click blog post, which I'll be covering, like I said, in this video. And they have the uh, AI powered SEO mode. And what's cool also is they have the WordPress auto posting. And then they, you can use the GPT 3.5 or the GPT-4, which I believe the GPT-4 is coming. All right, so for this one here, we have uh, the pro plan, which you can pick, like I said, uh, your word count. You can start off with 75,000 words a month. You can go up to 500, but like I said, the pretty cool part is that you can actually use your own API or you can use their word count. And then for the one-click box post, which I'll be covering today, it's unlimited. And again, they have the AI-powered SEO mode wordpress auto posting and then you get it the gpd gpt 3.5 gpt 4 and top quality ai content uh excuse me ai images and i'll go ahead and uh cover that in a minute but you can sign up no credit card required i'll go ahead and put a link in the description if you stay to the end of this video i'll go ahead and give you a promo code where you can get uh 25 off uh, so let me go ahead and log into the tool now and once you're on your dashboard here, once you sign up, you have the dashboard here. And right on top here, you have the one click blog post. This is lightning fast. And uh, I'll go ahead and click on it here. And to start, all you do is you put your main keyword, how to meal prep on a budget. I'll go ahead and do that one just to give you an example. And right here, you would generate the title. And right here, I have budget friendly meal prep. How to save money while planning your meals. So like I said, that's a pretty good uh, title. And then what you would do next is uh, you would come down here. And currently, I believe they have 44 different languages. And you get to pick the article size. So right here, they have small, medium, large. A medium will give you 24 to 3600 words, 9 to 12 headings. And you get to pick the tone of voice. So I believe it said eight of 50. So I'm gonna go ahead and put informative, but you can pick everything from friendly and inspirational, neutral, witty, casual. All right, so I'll keep it at informational. And then um, right here, which is pretty cool, is they have this new uh, image generation. So you get to pick if you want to, you don't want to put any Im AI images. You can do one after the H1 only or in each section. So I'm going to go ahead and click each section and then you get to click the, uh, what was it? The style image. So you can do everything from cartoon, fantasy, cinematic. So I'll just go ahead and do cinematic. And then, uh, like I said, right here, it says this is in beta. So at times some of the images might not be uh, correct. So we'll go ahead and give it a try. So then, then this section here is the SEO uh, keywords and uh, keywords to include in your text. So let me go ahead and grab some of the keywords. So I went ahead and grabbed some relevant keywords. So I'm going to go ahead and paste those here. So these are all just uh, related terms to the main keyword meal prep on a budget, how to meal prep on a budget, prepping, prepping ideas. So I went ahead and added these here. And then the next section is the structure. So you get to actually pick if you want to add the frequently asked questions, if you want tables on it, if you want to include H3s, if you want lists, also uh, uh, you can add the quotes as well. And 
you go down here. So the next section would be uh, language model. So currently, if you're using uh, the, their word, you know, the, the tools words, um, you would be able to use the GPT 3.5 and they have the GPT 4 coming soon and they have the GPT Ultra coming soon. So like I said, they continue to keep upgrading uh, their tool here. Or if you use the OpenAI one, uh, you can choose if you're going to use the OpenAI key uh, and you get to choose. I guess right now um, I'm going to go ahead and use their uh, their AI tool for this. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. So then you would just come up and double check that everything was correct. And then all you would do next is you just go ahead and hit the run button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit run. And I'm going to go ahead and let it uh, do its thing. It takes, you know, a few minutes at most. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and review this other one that I recently did today, just to give you an example uh, and to save a little bit of time. So let me go ahead and let it run for a second. While it's running, I'll go ahead and, uh, this is one that I did earlier today. This one is weight gain meal plan on a budget. So I wanted to compare it to a recent article that I had created using uh, Surfer SEO's new Surfer AI tool. So in a future video, I'm actually gonna do a comparison between both of those, but uh, this was just the article that I created. So this is how it comes out uh, once it's done. This one, like I said, was done earlier and it ended up writing 29, uh, 2,975 words. And you can actually uh, see the meta tags that it creates. It has the meta tag, meta description that you can use. And then um, you have the ability to edit it, copy and publish. So you can also uh, integrate your WordPress website with this tool and you can easily just move it right over and have it ready to publish or you can publish directly from from here. So uh, this is the one, like I said, from earlier that I did. This is the AI image that it created for the article. As you can see, it's a very, uh, very good quality image here. And I have the uh, different headings. These were the sections. And I just go ahead and scroll down so you can see the different images that it created. And I have here uh, budget friendly, high calorie foods. And here's another image, uh, budget friendly, high calorie. And then let me just go ahead and keep going down just so you can see uh, how this article was written. Here's another uh, image that it created. And then here was the final image uh, that I can use. And as I go down here, and one of the only things um, that the article, you it doesn't create an actual conclusion. So I went ahead and added a conclusion. But what it does do is it creates the frequently asked questions. So as you can see right here, what, what if I have a dietary restrictions? It has some of these other uh, questions here. So what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to uh, compare this to what I would get like SEO uh, score using like a surfer SEO. So what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and copied this uh, article that I created and I brought it over to uh, surfer SEO and I went ahead and created um, the same keyword and then it went ahead and created a structure for me. So I went ahead and copy and paste. And as you can see real quick, uh, it was 29, uh, excuse me, 2,975 words. And it starts with uh, trying to gain, it says trying to gain weight on a budget. So as you can see right here, I have the 20, 2,914 words. And I went ahead and as you can see right here, trying to gain weight on a budget. So it's the actual same article and I went ahead and got a score of 74. So right here on average, 68 to 77. So if you're not familiar with Surfer SEO and how uh, Surfer um, creates uh, uh, SEO structured content, like everything from headings, um, I'll put a link to one of the other videos, but uh, like I said, I just wanted to put it in here to see what type of score it would give me. So the content score is 74. And I went ahead and um, brought over the images. And as you can see, it's the same same article. And then right here, uh, some of the relevant keywords. 
it went ahead and um, added them. A lot of them actually it used more of the keywords than it was recommended. So you can actually mess around a little bit with the article, change a few things. But as you can see, it, it added a lot of the keywords uh, that I went ahead and, and added to it. So as you can see, this is the, like I said, the same exact one. And you have the conclusion weight gain on a meal plan. So uh, overall, it does give a pretty good score. You might have to change a few little things. Uh, one of the reasons I believe that maybe it's not a little bit higher, the word count is actually above. So uh, the recommended is 2,200 to 2,500. So I have 2,900 there. So another thing like I mentioned, so this is the actual one here. So you can actually copy it or you can publish it directly to your website. So I've already done this for this one here. Let me just go. Um, so once you click on the publish, you go ahead and it's going to show you the connected sites. So the the one for this one is going to be the mealprepninja.com. And this is the one that I use for a lot of the videos I make. And here are all the different uh, categories. So I would just go ahead and click on uh, meal prep tips and tricks. And then you could add it here as a draft or publish it directly. And then you get to uh, choose featured image. If you want to use that main image, add the first image to the featured image. And then right now, like I said, it was draft. So I went ahead, you know, you would go ahead and hit publish. But I already moved this one over. So I won't do that. But let me go ahead and bring over uh, the website. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into my website here. And it'll once you publish the article, it'll come over and all you have to do is edit it. So I went ahead and um, clicked on that article and there's only a few last things you would have to do. So I use Yoast SEO uh, for some of like the regular SEO stuff. So some of the only things that it would recommend at this point, which would be to create outbound links, internal links, and then add um, some of the keywords to the actual images. But besides that, uh, the article would be ready to publish. So then all you would do is just publish it. And just a quick uh, example, uh, this was just a preview, how it would look on the website. So then you would just preview it, make sure everything's good to go. And then your article would be published. So that quickly you can do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back to um, seowriting.ai. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click on uh, the builder one and the one that we were that we originally created. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it just so we can now see what it looks like. So it says budget-friendly meal uh, meal prep. How to save money while planning your meals. So again, this one here is 2,302 words. It can show the uh, metadata, meta description. You can edit it, copy and publish. So these are the AI images that it created. And as you can see here, same thing again, very high quality images why meal prep and it breaks it down it has the uh, time saving uh, reduces food waste and maintains healthy diet here's another image very good quality image and then as you can see here uh, budget friendly meal t uh, meal prep tips it has it in a uh, what do you call this uh, list here and as I go down here it breaks it again into charts so excuse me it has a chart here uh, tips and descriptions. Here's another image. We have meals, ingredient structure. So it, it's structuring this image, uh, this article very nicely. Here is another image. Good quality. It has um, one more image here. And as I keep going down, uh, the article looks very nicely structured. Here's another image that I created. And as I go down, here's another chart. And I'm keep going down and here we have is the budget friendly meal prep uh, frequently asked questions so again as of right now the only thing that you have to do would would be to add a conclusion and that would be very simple to do is you would just go up here to the edit and they also um, SEO writing the AI also has its own uh, overall score so right here of those 10 keywords it added seven of them 
So if I really want it, I can go back and just add these, these other keywords to uh, raise the overall score. And then it also has, um, currently it has the main keyword in the meta description. You would just have to uh, make it, you know, the exact and the title and also in the H1, you know, the headings if, if you like. So for this, all you would do is you would come back down. Let me go ahead and go back down to where the conclusion would be. And just to save time, I'll just give you just a real quick uh, way of doing it. You would just, um, let's just say if I, I would put it here, conclusion, oops, I forgot that. Conclusion, I'm going to make that capital. You would highlight it and then make it an H2. Oh, it's already an H2. And then right here, you would um, basically just summarize uh, the article and then hit the AI writing and then it would, it would continue to write. So like I said, that's the quick and easy way to write a conclusion for that. And um, like I said, this was the article that we just did. Let me go and hit the back here. And again, uh, that's how you would publish it. So there you have it. This is the one click SEO optimized blog post generator from SEO writing.ai. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, hit that like subscribe. Uh, if you want to give this uh, tool a try, I'll put a link in the description. And if you decide to sign up, there's a 25% off discount code if you use Team Gym. Team Gym, yes. Um, so again, thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I'll go ahead and answer them. Thank you.